Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. Um, so yeah. I have three different, like, different topics that I want to talk about. First is how I take my Instagram pictures. Second is how I plan my Instagram feed and all of that stuff. And then third is the actual preset and how I edit my photos. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I take my Instagram photos first. So I'm actually using the tripod that I use to take photos obviously but i'm filming a video with it right now but another really important thing if you don't have someone to take photos of you is a clicker and a tripod you can just get your photos how you like them you don't have to worry about um telling someone to do a different angle or doing something like that you can just do it yourself and then just hide the clicker in the photo and click it so yeah i think that is a great way to take your photos most of the time i have my cousins take them but i want to start taking more on my tripod because i feel like i can really get the picture that i am like picturing in my head if i started doing that so next, I'm gonna talk about how to plan your Instagram feed. So first off, let me get my phone. So I'm gonna show you guys the app I use to plan out my Instagram pictures. I think it's so fun to do. Obviously you don't have to do this. It's like a little hobby, you know, like planning out your Instagram feed and making all the pictures look aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, so the app I use is called Preview. Okay, here's my Instagram feed. As you can see, all of these have been posted on Instagram because you can see the Instagram logo in the corner. But if I wanted to add any photos, I just go to the plus and go to library and click the photo I want and click like insert or add whatever and it'll add it to your little planned feed. Um, another thing, you can go to carousel or carousel, or I don't know, and you can select multiple pictures and they'll all go to Instagram for your like 10 pictures if you wanted. Um, I'm not really quite sure what the rest of them are because I've only used library and carousel for carousel before so yeah you can also select um do all that i'm gonna insert a few pictures just to show you guys an example but a main thing in planning out your instagram feed is your outfit the background and, like the color scheme you want to do so right now i'm going for like a beigey kind of orange rust green turquoisey blue kind of color as you guys can see by the top six right here so yeah that is what i've been going for recently as you can see down here it's more kind of like city and stuff like that because i was in the city and then this down here as you can see is like all kind of like beachy summery vibes so yeah and then we have like fall again but i don't use that preset anymore so i'm going to show you guys what i use on all of these pictures right here because they're all the same preset it's really just about what colors are in your picture like if you want your pictures to match you can't take a picture in like a purple themed area and then take one in just like the nature and explore them to like go together you know with the same preset you really have to plan it out and it's more about the colors in your photo than the preset that you were using which is something i didn't understand at first and i was like why aren't these matching it's because your colors in your photos aren't matching together so i'm gonna stop rambling on about this now and i'm gonna go ahead and edit some photos for you guys so i'm just gonna pick a bunch of random pictures and i'm not necessarily gonna post any of these i'm just gonna show you guys my edit each of them okay so i have some different photos chosen now so i'll show you guys each of them so yeah we're gonna edit these and i will show you guys the preset i use i made it my on my own it's really simple it has a lot of grain on it because i like grainy pictures because it makes them more like vintage or like film photos which i really like so we're gonna go in with these i'm gonna add them to lightroom lightroom is the main app that i use really it's the only app that i use um so now i'm gonna go on go into presets i have like three different ones one's called insta one's called insta pics and one's called insta summer i'm gonna show you guys the difference of all of them so here's the insta one first here's insta pics and then here's insta summer it's a little bit more warm because summer you know but i'm honestly gonna keep the insta summer one so i'll show you guys that one here's the before in the after i just like how simple it is kind of just like makes picture a little bit more warm a little more bright 
makes the colors pop a little. Now, sometimes I will go in and adjust things, but I actually like how this looks. I may adjust the colors and go into makes a little bit. If I want certain colors to pop more than others, then this one, I kind of want some more green in here. So I just play with it until I find what I like it. So I'm gonna go into red because my shirt is red. See if that will change anything. I'm actually gonna leave it because it kind of changes the skin tone too. So honestly, I think this picture looks pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna change anything about it. Sometimes I get lucky and I do that. So I'm just gonna go through and screenshot all of the preset settings that I have on it, or like all of the adjustments I have put on the preset. So then you guys can use the preset too. So really simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to all of certain photos. <laughs> like look at the difference. It just looks so much better. I might adjust this one a little bit and crop it. Come up a little bit and then it's like that. I really like that picture. <laughs> Same with this one. I'm probably gonna adjust the crop of this one because I don't like how much gravel is showing or how many rocks are showing. So it just looks so much better. I love this preset so much. Okay, now we're gonna edit this one. I'm not gonna change anything about this one. I think it looks good like that okay now this one might take some work we're gonna see um so i'm just gonna go down and put on that preset okay i might brighten this one up a little bit and the exposure on and then contrast a little bit i might um bring the highlights down a little bit and then bring the whites down just a tad so i want it to be brighter but i don't want the white to be like too bright you know so we're gonna turn white down all the way and then i like it like that there's a before and here is an after i might also add some texture to it i don't know i can't really tell the difference <laughs> i might also turn the grain size i mean the grain down a little bit since it's an up closer like it's a close-up picture and then we have this one i'm interested to see how this one looks as well <laughs> it doesn't really need anything <laughs> um and then this one i'm going to use the same filter this one might need a little bit of adjusting like maybe turn Turn down the orange a little bit. We're gonna turn down the saturation and bring down the luminance a little bit. Since she has like a blue shirt on, I kind of want to play with that a little bit. We're gonna make it more blue. There we go. Before and after. Um, cute. That is how I edit my Instagram photos. I hope that helped. I don't know if it did or not. <laughs> now going back into preview, I'm gonna save those photos and kind of arrange them how I want to. I don't know, there's not really much to it. I just use a preset and then match my outfit and colors in my photos. Let's see if that matches. Hopefully it does. It's a little white, but it's kind of bringing in that white from the coffee photo. So I kind of don't mind it bringing in the color. I feel like the next one should definitely have some green in it since this one doesn't really. I think that looks okay. I don't know how I feel about it, but anyways. I'm gonna be done there because that is how I edit my Instagram photos. I hope you guys enjoyed and took something away from this and I will see you guys in my next video.